Hello to all of my Sagittarius. Sagittarius, this is Queen Amun Ra coming to you with your general reading. Sagittarius, let's do it. Let's see what your cards have to say. Let us see what your cards have to say. Sagittarius, let's go. Let's see. Hopefully you all are setting your intentions. We're coming up on closing out this cycle. So as always, whenever we're about to close out a cycle, your intuition becomes even more heightened. You start to, you know, you get a little nervous about Am I closing out the right relationships? Am I, you know, even with self, like, am I, if I leave behind this part of me, what's going to happen? Moving, I feel more vulnerable moving ahead. We're coming up on a solar eclipse and a new moon in Libra on the 14th, right? And so if you can get used to whenever we're about to close out a cycle, it's just like, you know what? I'm leaving something behind permanently. I'm tossing away things. Did I throw this away prematurely? Could I have donated that? Um, you know, should I have taken that with me? It's just, it's the same mindset, the same like like uh, the same level of anxiety that you may have, right? That's why I try to prepare you. You know, using the moon phases in my videos, helping you to see you could be feeling this way, this way, this way, this way. Try to give you the questions ahead of time. You can create your own questions if you want to, just to make sure you feel like okay, I know I'm headed in the right direction. I feel like a, a huge weight has been lifted off of my shoulder. Let's do it. Queen of Pentacles, there it is, adjust your crown. Here we have the uh, Queen of Pentacles, Two of Swords, Four of Swords, Nine of Swords, Ten of Wands, and Five of Pentacles. Yeah, so Source is saying to you, adjust your crown. This is the first card out of the deck. When you adjust your crown, you can also talk to people and help lift them up instead of stepping down off of your throne. Adjusting your crown does not mean talking trash about people. Just because people may have talked trash about you, Sources like that is not adjusting your crown. And it'll it'll take you off of your throne you know, a lot sooner, meaning that people will have a different opinion and like, oh, wow, like this person, you know, they, they so hurt. Something must have really struck a chord in them for them to step down off of their throne to talk trash about somebody else. So it's like, no, just learn how to get your rest because you're about to be booked and busy and not burdened at all. Here we have the, um, the number 10. And so 10 is the number of instant manifestation. Lots of duties and responsibilities coming your way. Like I said, source is not going to let you have time to even sit around and talk trash. So you don't even, you want to be mindful of something. So that's something you want to leave in the past. Like for instance, I don't, I'm not talking about it anymore. I know what my purpose is. I'm not, if I'm not, if I can't help say something to lift that person up, I don't have anything negative to say. I need to get my rest because when I'm not, when I don't get my rest and I'm burned out because you're a fire sign, anything liable to come out of my mouth or my actions are liable to do anything. So as funny as that could be at some time, it's not funny when it's threatening to put you in this position right here. Extreme poverty. So source is saying no matter how much something could have been a nightmare around you, take the blindfolds off so you can see the blessings and the burdens trying to come in. So yeah, somebody could, somebody could be living a nightmare. It could be something going on in your life. That's like a nightmare. That's been like a nightmare to you thinking that people, you, it's hard when you, you can't, you don't know who's talking trash about you and who's talking lovingly. A lot of people get thrown off when people cut you off, but if they're on their crown, they're like, okay, if I've tried to lift Sagittarius up to see the greatness in them and they're giving, they're still connected to certain hurt family members and, and certain hurt people. I don't want that hurt to contaminate me because I already know I've, I've tried to lift. Uh, and sometimes that looks like a person not responding to your sarcasm. They may not say anything. They may just say, I need to move on. So a source is trying to teach you, leave the trash talking behind because it could be causing nightmares in other people's lives. If you can't lift the person up, there's a saying by, uh, I want to say, uh, it's not a saying, it's a quote, I think by um, either Muhammad Ali or uh, Dr. Martin Luther King. The only reason I'm looking back is to help somebody forward or something like that. But the bottom line is that you are looking, the only reason you're looking down is to help somebody find their, um, their throne in their own universe. So here we have the four of swords and also the ten of swords. Like I said, I see booked and busy, not burdened at all. Not burdened at all because you are taking the burden off of your own internal scales. When you are um, looking at your cards, whenever um, it's moving towards a more balanced out life, and that's what the, the moon in Libra is all about. We're not talking about any Libras that you know, whether you like them or don't like them. Libra is ruled by Venus, just like Taurus is ruled by Venus. Venus is the planet of love and pleasure. It's also the planet of relationships of all kinds, friendships, the platonic, love, whatever, working relationships. 
It's also the planet of pleasure, erotic love, sexual desire, beauty, romance, cooperation, relationships, attraction, love, aesthetics, art, and music. So again, cooperation is part of it. It's a very peaceful planet. But when, when you're around energies that are green with envy, it can, it can contaminate your fire and make you come across as vengeful and vain. Be very careful, okay? So source is saying, and because your energy is directed outward as a fire sign, it's going to come out like a blowtorch. I'm a, I'm a trash people. I'm a talk trash. I'm a bring, I'm a, I'm a bring them down a peg or two. They need to be humble because they think they this and that and so on and so forth. When somebody's trying to lift you up, source is trying to keep people around you. That's going to help you stay on your throne. So you got it. You got it. So like I said, first card out of that deck is the queen of pentacles. Source is like, when you lift other people up, you gain a whole lot more respect because you, you're trying to, you see a lot of, you see it a lot of times in sports and it would just, it just in people, not just in sports. Cause that's a, but just not in sports, but just when people are trying to, Hey, we're all a part of the same team. We're a part of the human race. We're not acting like a bunch of wild animals out there. The people who are trying to cre um, create some kind of competition or whatever, and trying to make people look like, Oh, this person is better than this person or whatever. Just be the best you. You're still making a major impact on the, the, the your community and the world at large. So, so sources get, uh, says get your rest. Here we have the seven of swords, the ten of swords. Here we also have the nine of wands, the goddess card, nine of cups, and healing. So yeah, so something about your energy is very healing for people. But if you're not healed yourself or you're not I'm talking about on a continual basis, I'm healing, I'm healing. I'm detaching from everybody that doesn't see the greatness in me. And I can't see the, I see the greatness in them, but they don't see the greatness in me. I need to, I need to detach from those people. I need to get a cord, the cord cutting ceremony is what I'm seeing right here. Somebody is entering into a season of abundance and prosperity. You're getting a cord cutting, you want some cord cutting. You're on the outside of a long and arduous journey. Again, you're no longer lost. Only people who are lost are looking to, they react to everything. They can't control their emotions. It's all over the place, like they're in a the jungle. Sources say you are not a wild animal. So <clears throat> here we have the nine of wands. So nine is the number of um nine is a number of death rebirth. It's a number meaning that something needs to end. Now that you're in the light about situations, you need to end responding or reacting to everything. Source is saying to you. Stay on your throne. If you can't bring somebody else up, then you need to detach. Ten of swords. People that stood around and watched people talk negatively about you. You could definitely have a Judas in your camp, right? That stood around and let other people talk negatively about you. But they did absolutely nothing. Why? Because they're green with envy. So it's to say you better recognize the Judas around you because it'll it'll mess your whole It'll mess your whole universe up, like not knowing who is in your universe. So, so it's to say, you know, this energy jumps from one body to the next. You could have been a Judas. You started out being the Judas in your own universe first because you allow people to say and treat you any kind of way, just going along with the flow. And somebody felt it was comfortable. You, they felt comfortable enough to be a Judas to you. And so sometimes people think the only way to survive and to have access to things is to be a Judas. I don't, I'm not on either side. I'm just kind of neutral in it. You know, if somebody, why don't, why doesn't, why doesn't this person right here talk to the people who were holding the swords instead of this person right here trying to help you by making sure another other swords don't get thrown in your back? So source is saying to you, ten of swords, the number ten is the number of instant manifestations. Speak into existence only what you want to come back. Source, thank you that there are no more Judas in my and make especially me. I'm not standing around just letting people talk and mistreat me any kind of way. But I'm not going off on people who mean me well either. Take the blindfolds off so you can see the blessings and the burdens coming your way. So somebody, you don't even need to overthink this. Stop talking trash about people. That's it. <laughs> you, somebody overthinking, take the blindfolds off to see the people who mean you well versus the people who don't mean you well. Here we have the nine of cups and also the seven of wands. Because when you're around a whole bunch of people, it's like, oh, I can't stand that person. I don't like that particular zodiac sign. That's just how they are. You could be cutting yourself, cutting a blessing. So source is saying you'll be able to justify, um, defend your decision to move on from something without coming across as defensive at all. Here we have nine of a very much king queen energy. If I can't lift you up to help you find your own throne, then I don't want to have anything to do with it. I'm not engaging in negative anything, trash talking about anybody. I'm looking at nine of cups here. This is wish fulfillment. So this has definitely been somebody's wish. Um, 
it's definitely been somebody's wish to um, have for other people to see your heart, to see that your heart is in the right place. So be about it. Don't just talk about it. Be about it. If your heart is in the right place, help lift people up. Nothing else. Don't even engage in anything else. All right. So let's see what else we got going on here. Let's see what else we have going on here. Let's see what else we have going on here. So this is good. So do the core cutting ceremony and continue getting your healing. And recognize that the, it's the Judas. It's the energy that's that close to you. This people feel like, oh, they're, they're, they're in the inner court. They're in the inner circle. They're just standing around waiting to see if you're going to get up or not. Nope, don't need those type of energies around you. Here we have the Eight of Swords. Here we have the Two of Swords. We also have the Tower card, the Hermit card, and also the Moon card. And also the Five of Cups. Something from your past will definitely try to resurface, but source is saying to you, you're having a tower moment, right? Remember that tower can fall either way. So just because something from your past that's trying to resurface, people think they have secrets, they know certain things about you, they will absolutely try to use it against you, Sagittarius. And the way that you combat that is recognizing how karma really works. That's what a lot of people don't understand. They think karma is a bad thing. It's not, it's not good or bad. It just is. Some kind of overwhelming feeling from your past could come up because somebody mentioned somebody's zodiac sign, their name. They could have come across somebody that you felt like did you wrong in the past, whatever the case may be. Source is saying to you, don't say anything about it. That's going to be your, that may be somebody's challenge. You remember you're springing, you're springing forward into a new, a super new you. Don't say a word about it. Let this happen. <coughs> let the, let the tower fall on them. Let the tower fall on them. That's that's a hard that's a hard thing for some people to know that people are gossiping about you and think the worst about you. They can be in the privacy of their own home with their greatest confidant talking negatively about you, and all of a sudden all hell breaks loose in their life because nobody escapes karma. Versus a person who, you know, like I said, when you got on blindfolds, you can't you don't you can't trust anybody because you're just swinging the swords. You're just coming at everybody. You don't know who means you well and who means you hurt. Who means you pain? But source is saying to you, uh, Sagittarius, take the blindfolds off. Don't engage in any harmful conversation. That'll shut it down and it'll also expose people too. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, we know the Sagittarius is not talking about this. No, I, if, it, we, if it doesn't involve uplifting a person, I don't want to have anything to do with it. Just shut it down right then and there. That'll make everybody scatter who's who's who is still on that same frequency. People who would want to raise their frequency will say, Sagittarius, you know, you're right. I shouldn't have been talking about that because I already know how it feels when people talk trash about me. Instantly, you just, you just, the room has just been scattered. People have been exposed. Here we have the Eight of Swords. We have Two of Swords, the Hermit card, and the Five of Cups. And sometimes even in that exposure, people can be still be this right here. Sometimes it takes a minute to flush this out. Because sometimes this energy may be one of the people that says, you know what, you're right. You know, if I don't have anything there, but they, but they can't hide for long because source will keep exposing it. Source will keep exposing it. Sometimes source will expose you. You got to pay attention to signs all around you. Body movement, body language, inflect, and, and, um, you know, the, the way people's voices um, raise and, and lower. You know, you want to pay attention to all of that because it's, it's, again, like I said, the moon is currently in Virgo. Virgo is an energy that, that, that uses checklists. When you step outside of yourself and you say, okay, <clears throat> I noticed that when I, when I said to a room of 10 people, so we're going to use the number 10 for a second, that, you know, I don't want to engage. Let's not talk about so-and-so because um, if it doesn't involve uplifting them, then, you know, I, I don't even want to have anything to do with it. Let's just switch the subject. Let's talk about something good. Let's talk about some ideas, how we can all win, make money, blah, 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 blah. And you got one person over there. It's like everybody's saying, yeah, you know what? You're right. You're right. That one that is could be one this energy right here that's sitting over there, you know, snickering or shifty eyed. They're saying out of their mouth, "You right," but they can't wait to go back and tell somebody else. Oh, guess what? We were all sitting around talking about so and so and so and so. And look at um, look at Sagittarius. Sagittarius trying to be all positive, but I remember when they would be the main ones. Source is gonna flush them out. Keep your vibrations high. Don't step down off of your throne. Here we have the five of cups. You don't need to lament over anything. It's in the past. Leave it alone. You, you lamenting over. I can't believe I, I just blurted that out. I said I could have had an opportunity. Just move on. 
sources still wish for you know we're all learning everybody is all learning everybody has prematurely cut people off and not known that man i, I made a mistake somebody could have prematurely cut you off and not even realize oh you know what sagittarius was good people and I, I wish i had another opportunity with them but guess what life goes on all the best they can do is speak highly of you or not talk about you at all find something good to say something nice about you so anyway here we have the um two of swords and the eight of swords hi see how we got the two of swords twice Somebody has been hurt so many times that they had literally just shut down. They didn't want to see or hear anything. Just willing that, that sword over and think that's self-sabotage. This is self-sabotage and walking around with blind foes on. This is not blind dirs where I'm so locked in and laser focused on my purpose. I'm not going to be distracted. This is blind foes. I can't see the good or the bad in people. So I'm going to talk trash. If somebody talk trash about them, I'm going to believe it and I'm going to talk trash too. I can't see the good in them. So source is saying, take all the blindfolds off. Stop sabotaging yourself and creating nightmares and stop being the Judas in your own circle. That's what source is trying to tell you. Stop letting people hang around you. They're just messy. Get those energies from around you. <clears throat> Entertaining it. Because that's all it is, entertainment. Until somebody is like this lose all their money guilty by association so let's see let's get ready to close this out you all got it you got it under control like i said before you know somebody had a tower moment you got it loud you heard the message loud and clear you heard the message loud and clear stay on your throne stay on your throne and stay away from just messy people we got a, the world is in we have enough of messy people we got enough messy people sources about to make you booked and busy a lot of growth in your money, a lot of growth of opportunity. And it's not just money. Remember, it's a resource that you will be using to help better someone else's life and help bring them up to the next level. So there it is, letting go. So everything is indeed out of control and God will hold it all. I can safely let go. Yeah. Somebody's in a very vulnerable space right now, but source is going to make sure you know, you are divinely protected and you're divinely covered. You have a lot of ancestors around you rooting and cheering for you. They're proud of you because you break in generational cycles, chains and curses, you know, and you're detaching from hurtful family members, hurtful loved ones. Because that's what a blindfold start to hurt in your own family. So I don't, I can't trust anybody. So somebody say something to me, even if they compliment me, I think it's shady. I think they trying to, they trying to, mm, are they sitting off on the side snickering? That stuff starting a family abundance planning so start your abundance planning abundance of wealth knowledge discernment abundance and prosperity that's what somebody's entering into so anything that you need to leave behind including a way of thinking about things or talking about certain things if it's negative it's, it involves trash talking <clears throat> nope Nothing is yet set in stone. So somebody is still in that mutable energy. However it goes, I'm just going with the flow. You want to better, you better go with God's flow. <laughs> you ain't trying to go with negative flow because I'm telling you that tower can fall either way. And that, that mutable moon came out, even though we're coming up on a new moon, make it a super new you, a super new you in this solar eclipse. Let's look at the questions for the moon in Libra since the super, I'm sorry, the solar eclipse and the new moon is in Libra. I'm getting you prepared for this on the 14th. Uh, first question is, is your work bringing more peace, justice, beauty, or harmony to the world? And then how could that, how could you amplify that? Second question is, what would happen if you spent more time with people who are completely at peace with themselves? Third question is, do you receive as much as you give and vice versa? Fourth question is, which small steps could you take to create more beauty in your space? And then last but not least is what would happen if you were to shift from complaining to a permanent sense of gratitude, permanent sense of gratitude. I'm so grateful that source exposed my demons in me and I got to take these blindfolds off because I'm not trying to mess up any good relationships with people who are genuinely, genuinely mean me well, right? That's how. That's why some people don't want to be around people with this same skin color because they feel like they've been hurt in their own community. That's why some people don't want to identify, you know, they can't take compliments from people who look the different skin color from them because they've been hurt. That's why a source is trying to teach somebody how to look so they don't get along with certain zodiac signs because they've been hurt by one or two zodiac signs. Then they hate the whole, the whole, every zodiac sign that's that, that zodiac sign. Source is trying to train somebody how to pay attention to your intuition, the voice of God within you, like not cover up your third eye, 
even if physically it reminds you of somebody else, you're not covering up. You know, this person's third eye is covered up. This brow chakra is your third eye. It's covered up. So you can't even see, you can't even make sense of any of it. That's why it's so hard to see this energy right here. So that's why some people be like, no matter how much a person says, no, they really a nice person. They going through such and such. If you set dead set on being around negative energies, no, they not. You know, they phony, they fake, they're this and that and so on and so forth adjust your crown and raise their frequency if you feel like that raise their freak i don't have anything negative to say about it number four number four i'm a i mean number five excuse me i am adaptable right flexibility is your forte when life throws you a curveball you can easily adapt to new circumstances and find excitement in the unexpected change be brave and bold in your endeavors that's right number five number five all right and uh let's see but like i said before the first card that came out was the queen of pentacles people still hold you in very high regard people still love you you know those kind of things and so when you take the when you take the blindfolds off even the people that have removed themselves from their life they could still hold you in high regard but if you were at a point in your life where you felt like you know what people have been talking trash about me i'm hurt and i'm i'm triggered and this energy you because a lot of very sensitive energies are healers like you are a heal something about your energy is very healing it makes you very very sensitive that's why you see a lot of uh people who come from very talented gifted and talented families and art and music and stuff like that there's a bunch of chaos and stuff going on because that energy is feminine energy and if people are not living if they are not if they don't know how to protect their art, they don't know how to protect their joy, don't know how to protect it, it's all that toxicity running out through the family. The source is saying to you, tap into your strength, affirmations for strength. All obstacles in my path are being cleared. I am stronger than yesterday. I am brave. I am courageous. I learn from my mistakes. Failure is a farce. All effort is testing. I rise above all that stands in my way. Improvement is my only concern. That's right. Improvement is my only concern. That is what I have for you. And I will see you all. Hopefully those questions help you. Hopefully those questions help you. I will see you all on Freedom Friday. Like I said, let's get ready for this, this solar eclipse, this new moon in Libra on the 14th. Let's close out. Let's finish strong. Let's close out this cycle. That sensitivity sets in with everybody, Sagittarius, when we're about to close out something because you almost feel like, I feel like I'm not, I'm not really sure if I should leave certain things behind, certain grudges behind. Some people talk negatively about some people, and I, I may have said a couple of things myself. Sources leave all of that behind. Forgive yourself, forgive whomever, stay on your throne, and keep on pushing forward. Keep on moving forward. I will see you all on Friday. Bye.